Before we proceed further, in this lecture, we are going to learn about the different scopes of a variable and a function in JavaScript. In simple terms, we can say that the scope of a variable or a function is the places where it is visible and where it can be accessed. Let's try to understand it with an example. Let's go to VS Code. And here we have a function called greetings. This greetings function is taking two parameters, name and time of day. And inside this function, we are also creating a variable called message. Now, this message, it is created inside this greetings function that means this message variable it is only visible inside this greetings function it can only be accessed inside this greetings function we cannot access this message variable outside of this greetings function so this message variable is local to this greetings function it has local scope if i try to access this message variable outside of this function let's say i want to log the value stored in the message variable and if we save the changes, you will see we have an error and it says message is not defined. So when we are trying to access this message variable, basically this message variable outside of this function, there it is not visible. There it cannot be accessed. That's why we are seeing this message. Message is not defined because we have defined this message inside this function. So it is only visible inside this function. It can only be accessed inside this function. Outside of that function, this message variable it is not visible so it cannot be accessed so this message variable here it has a local scope it is local to this greetings function in the same way when we are specifying this name and time of day parameter these two parameters are also local to this greetings function these two parameters they also have a local scope they can only be accessed inside this greetings function where we have specified it where we have defined these parameters they are not visible outside of this greetings function if i try to log time of day variable here and if i save the changes again we will see the same error time of day is not defined that's because this time of day parameter it is local to this greetings function it is only visible inside this greetings function it cannot be accessed outside of this greetings function so this is local scope a variable defined inside a function it has a local scope in the same way the function parameters also have a local scope they are only visible inside the function for which they have been created so remember that a local variable is visible only inside the function in which it is declared and it is not visible outside of that function so therefore the scope of a local variable is within the function in which it is declared for example this message variable it is declared inside this greetings function so it is only visible inside that greetings function its scope is that function basically from here to here we can use this message variable anywhere inside these curly braces but not outside of these curly braces and this is called as local scope then we also have global scope now what is global scope a variable declared outside of any function or any code block it has global scope for example let's go ahead and let's create a global variable let's call it maybe user and let's assign it with a value let's say john okay so this variable it is declared outside of any function or any code block it is declared globally this variable it is not created inside any function or inside any code block so this variable will have global scope that means you can access this variable from anywhere in your javascript program so for example i have created it here if i want i can access this user variable inside this greetings function also so let me go ahead and let me use this console.log statement and there if i want to log user i can simply log it like this so i am able to access this user variable which is defined globally which is defined outside of any function or code block inside a function if i save the changes before that let me comment this console.log statement okay so if i save the changes you won't see anything logged here because we also need to call this greetings function so let's go ahead and let's call this greetings function and for the name let's pass mark and for time of day let's pass evening okay so if i save the changes first we are seeing this message logged 
which is good evening mark welcome back and then we are seeing the value stored in this user variable logged here so i'm able to access this user variable inside this function and if i want i can also access that user variable from anywhere inside this javascript program i can access it from here as well so if i save the changes john is logged two times so this is logged from here and after that we are calling this greetings function so this john it is logged from here okay so a local variable it is accessible only inside the function inside which it is created but a global variable is accessible from anywhere in your javascript program and a global variable is that variable which is created outside of any function or code block in this example this message it is a local variable because it is created inside this function but this user it is a global variable because it is created outside of any function or any code block then we also have one another type of scope which is block scope so for example here let me go ahead and let me write an if statement and inside that if statement let's say x greater than 10 and here let's create a variable and here let's set the value of x to 11 okay so here we are writing an if statement and after that we use a set of curly braces and inside that we write the body for the if statement so here let's simply say x plus plus okay and here i will say y equals x plus plus and let me create this y using let keyword so here we have created a variable y inside these curly braces now this opening and closing curly braces is called as a code block so whatever code we write inside it that belongs to that code block similarly here also when we are opening this curly braces we are writing some code and after writing the code we are closing that curly brace so this here it is a code block in the same way after this if statement also this opening and closing curly braces it is a code block so any variable created inside a code block it can only be accessed inside that code block here inside this code block if i try to access this variable y i'll be able to access it and i'll be able to use it if i save the changes you will see the value of y is logged which is 11 now you might ask why it is 11 because we have set x to 11 and then after that on that x we are using this increment operator so it should increment to 12 but it is still 11 why is that that's because if you remember from increment and decrement operator lecture this post increment operator it first returns the initial value and then it increments it so initial value of x is 11 it will return 11 and that 11 will be assigned to this variable y and after that the value of x will be incremented to 12 so that's why when we are logging y it is logging 11 all right so i'm able to access this variable y which we have created inside this code block inside that code block but if i try to access this variable y outside of that code block let's say here and if i save the changes we will get an error and it says y is not defined so here this y is declared inside this code block so it will only be visible inside that code block and it can only be accessed inside that code block it cannot be accessed outside of that code block so this variable y it has a block scope if i write the same if statement inside this function let's say here okay so here this x it is a global variable because it is created outside of any function or code block so it is a global variable and that's why it can be accessed from anywhere in the javascript program we are accessing and using it inside this greetings function here okay so since it is a global variable we can access it here so inside this function we have this message variable which will be accessible anywhere inside this greetings function it has a scope of this greetings function then inside this greetings function we are also creating this variable y but we are creating this variable y inside the code block of if statement which we have written inside this greetings function so what do you think this variable y will it be accessible inside this greetings function let's see that let's try to write this console.log statement after this if statement okay so now if i save the changes 
you see when this function is called at this line we again have an error and it says y is not defined and again the logic is same this y is defined inside a code block inside this code block so it can only be accessed it can only be used inside that if block because it will only be visible inside that code block where it is declared but we are trying to access and use it outside of the code block where it was declared and that's why we are not able to use it because this variable y it has a block scope it has a scope of this code block so i hope with these examples now you understand what is global scope so basically global variables will have global scope they can be accessed from anywhere in our javascript program then we have local scope a variable declared inside a function can only be accessed inside that function and it will have a local scope and then we have block scope a variable declared inside a code block it is only visible inside that code block and it can only be accessed inside that code block and it will have a block scope same is true for functions also so this greetings function this is not created inside any function or inside any code block right so this greetings function will have a global scope it can be accessed from anywhere inside the javascript program but what we can also do is inside a function also we can create a function so here let me go ahead and let me create a function let's call this function maybe say hello okay and all this function is going to do is it is going to log hello world okay now this say hello function we have created it inside this greetings function so this say hello function will have a scope of this greetings function this function can only be accessed from anywhere inside this greetings function but outside of this greetings function this say hello function will not be accessible it will not be visible so if i call this say hello function here inside this greetings function there it will be accessible so if i save the changes you will see hello world log here but if i try to call this say hello function outside of that greeting function outside of the greetings function this say hello function will not be visible so we cannot access it so now if i save the changes we will have an error and it says say hello is not defined because outside of this greetings function this say hello function is not visible and hence it cannot be called so i hope with these examples now you understand what is local scope what is global scope and what is block scope if you still have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day